Hi, I'm Gina Schreck. Welcome to our short series on seven daily activities on Twitter to do social right. Okay, so here's step number one. First thing when you wake up in the morning, you should always check your direct message column as well as your reply column to your account. You want to make sure that you can be as timely with your responses as possible. And yes, sometimes our direct message column is filled with junk, but that is step number one, is go through your direct message and reply columns, get back to those folks as quickly as possible, and then you'll be ready for step number two. Okay, step number two. On Twitter, I like to go, even though I use a third-party app, I like to go to twitter.com for this step. And that is, I click on followers, and I look at the folks who are new that are following me. And when I say I look at them, I click on their profile po uh, photo, and I read a couple of their tweets to see, is this somebody I want to follow back? If so, I click follow, and I reply or retweet. Hopefully, there's something interesting there that I can reply or retweet to. And that kind of lets them know that I have made that connection and I've seen some of their tweets. Sometimes I comment on a great bio they have, and that's another thing, is just make some sort of conversation with them. And that is step number two. Okay, step number three, post some of your content. Make sure that it's interesting, helpful, or don't post it at all. So you want to go through and um, maybe you want to post one post in the morning and then schedule a couple throughout the day if you know you're going to be busy. I do use an auto scheduler for that reason. I might have a lot of things I want to post and I don't want to just dump it all in the morning. So I'll schedule it to drop throughout the day. So that is step number three. Okay, step number four. This is where you want to go through your main Twitter stream, or perhaps, like I do, I have a few columns set up that are my favorites to read in the morning. So it might be business favorites, it might be tech news to watch, but I will go through the stream of tweets and I will retweet and sometimes schedule to retweet, again, dropping throughout the day, interesting content that I find. So again, making sure that you're staying in contact with people by replying, or commenting on some of their posts. So that would be step number four. Okay, step number five. This is a little trickier and sometimes can be more time consuming, but step number five will be to find, and you pick the number, somewhere between 10 and 20 new people to connect with that day. So let's say you wanna start out by picking 10 people. I recommend using a hashtag or search for a zip code if you're a, a geographic, business that you're trying to connect locally. If you are an, a national or international business, then you might want to search by hashtag or keyword, but do a search and find 10 new people that you're not connected with and do, you know, just read their, a quick overview of their profile and click on that follow button. That is step number five. Okay. Step number six. Just like earlier, you want to reply or retweet these new folks that you just connected with. Now you may not find interesting content every time and you don't want to spend too much time reading pages of their tweets. I typically will look at the first three or four tweets. If there's something I can reply to or retweet or comment on, um, I will do that. And so that is step number six. It's pretty easy but it is something that will raise you on the radar for these new folks that you followed. Especially if they're, if they're people and their numbers are, you know, they, they follow a lot fewer than are following them. So you need to reply, retweet, engage in conversation with them so that you get up on their radar screen as someone that likes to engage in conversation. So that is step number six. Okay, here we are at the end, step number seven of your seven daily activities on Twitter. And step number seven is pretty easy. At the end of your day, sometime in the afternoon, you wanna go through and just like you started the day, reply to any uh, mentions that have come in or direct message comments that have come in. So you wanna reply to those if you haven't done so throughout the day. And then again, just kind of look at the stream and see if there's anything you wanna schedule for the evening while you actually hit that power button and shut it off for the night. So that is step number seven, daily activities that will get you doing social right in your business on Twitter. 
For more great tips, be sure to check out our website at synapseconnecting.com or if you are on Facebook, be sure to like our page, which is Getting Geeky, facebook.com slash getting geeky. Lots of great social media tips and places for you to share your tips and questions as well. So we hope to connect soon.